Thanks for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, share, and like. Thank you very much. Today we're going to take a quick look at YouTube Analytics. If you have a lot of videos, how do you know which one is actually doing the best? So I have been using my own arbitrary method of analyzing the performance of the videos on my channel. I basically take the number of views divided by the number of days that the video has been published. But what you find is videos that have like a thousand views get buried in that. So then I actually turned around and added the number of views per day plus the total number of views to come up with a rating system and that seems to be pretty effective so then i set the arbitrary levels of anything over 1.0 is green anything between 1.0 and 0.5 is yellow and anything less than 0.5 is red so this system's been giving me a pretty good basis to judge how the videos are doing i just wanted to take the time to compare it to how google analytics looks at it and how the results stack up. So here I'm in YouTube Studio Beta and I've clicked on the analytics link on the left hand side. Look at the videos and view more. You get some groovy graphs on the top and a bunch of numbers on the bottom and you can kind of see a pecking order of the videos and I want to see how these videos sort across the various columns. So there's actually a download button up here. I'm going to download a CSV file and then we're going to edit it. So this is going to take some time to unpack. We're opening the CSV file. Turning on the filtering is the first thing I usually do in Excel. going to expand out the view so we can see everything in the columns here. There's not that many columns. Excel online you have to highlight the columns to get them to expand out. You can't just expand out based on the column header. And I'm going to pin down the ribbon here so we can uh, have all the tools handy. So we're going to sort the first column and select the top 10 and color those top 10 blocks green and that's the total minutes and this is the number of viewers again taking the top 10 so the next three columns you wouldn't have any insight into without Google Analytics and that's average view duration so the total minutes divided by the number of views Then there's also video thumbnail impressions, meaning somebody saw a thumbnail and I don't know if, if they stared at it a long time or something, how they actually determine what an impression is. And then the actual click-through rate on the impression. So I saw the thumbnail and I clicked on it. Again, these are numbers that you don't have any insight into without analytics. So I've highlighted each of the top 10 videos in each of the columns and now I'm going to add another column where I total up the number of columns that each video was in the top 10. So we'll see which videos have the most top 10 hits in each of the columns. So now we sort on this new column who had the most top 10 columns lit green and you're really going to be surprised. I know I was. Who would have thought that positive sync filtering in Azure AD Connect would be the video that would be in the top 10 in all of these categories. But there it is. There is YouTube Analytics in action for you. 
We can also see the top three videos on my channel are also in the running here, as well as some of the newer videos, the rocketry videos from the National Sport Launch, etc. So this is a very interesting insight. And you have to base your promotion of your videos on your other social channels on this information. I guess my question is, do you pick the losers and try to promote those to bring them up? Or should you just continue to focus on the winners and make other videos exactly like the winning videos? That's a question that I'll have to answer over a longer period of time. I'm still enjoying just making the variety of videos and seeing the responses to each of the different types of videos I'm making. So this was an interesting delve into the information for me. I hope that this video was useful for you as well. Feel free to comment. Obviously, subscribe, share, like, and I look forward to having you view my next video. Thank you very much.